if a vector equals to 3i plus 4j vector find magnitude of a vector solution here a vector is equals to 3i plus 4j therefore x component of a vector equals to 3 y component of b vector equals to 4 so the magnitude of vector is given by square root x component whole square plus y component whole square its value is x component is of a vector is 3 square is 4 square it is 9 plus 16 root under 25 is equals to 5 units means the magnitude of vector a is 5 units if next question if a is 1 comma 2 and b is 3 comma 4 find a v vector and magnitude of a v vector solution let when two points is given means the starting point and ending point for a v vector the starting point is a 1 comma 2 and b 3 comma 4 let us suppose the starting point 1 comma 2 as x1 comma y1 and the ending point 3 comma 4 as x2 comma y2 now first we need to find the x component and y component of the way ab vector therefore x component of ab vector is equals to x2 minus x1 means the x component of terminating point minus x point x coordinate of initial point that is x coordinate of so x coordinate of terminating point that is b means x2 minus x co x co coordinate of initial point that is of a is x1 x2 means 3 minus 1 it's 2 similarly y component of a v vector is equals to y2 minus y1 that is 4 minus 2 equals to 2 therefore a v vector is equals to x component is 2 y component is also 2 if if you are going to find the a v vector directly then we'll use this formula directly a v vector means x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 x2 means it's 3 minus 1 4 minus 2 it's 2 2 you can use this method also now according to the question we need to find what the magnitude of a v vector also magnitude of a v vector is given by you can apply this formula or you write x component means x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square x2 means 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 whole square y2 minus y1 means 4 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 whole square it is 2 square plus 2 square it's root under 4 plus 4 is 8 is equal to 2 root under 2 units therefore magnitude of a v vector is equals to 2 square root 2 
units okay in this way we can find the vector when its initial point and terminating point is given as well as its magnitude 